Hey guys, I'm Uri and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the newly launched Nykaa Hydrating Gels range. So without further ado, let's get started. So yes, I did receive the Nykaa Hydrating Gels in PR, but all the opinions to this video will be my own and this is not a sponsored video in any way. So let's go. So firstly, I have received the Nykaa Naturals Lavender and Chamomile Face Gel, Hydrating Face Gel. And then I have the Tea Tree and Neem one. And this is how it looks. The bottle is pretty good, like the packaging is nice and average. And it is for 349 rupees. And it will last you for like three or four years, which is a great thing. Usually with gels or like gel-based face masks, you don't really use too much of product. So it's great. Now the tea tree and neem one is for purifying your skin, and the lavender and chamomile is to calm your skin, just like this. So with these two, I also received the Nykaa Naturals Lavender and Chamomile Scrub and also the Nykaa Naturals Lavender and Chamomile Face Wash. Now, this was my first time using it. I have used this and I have my thoughts to share it with you. So let's go. First off, with this scrub, I love that it's not extremely, extremely scented. Now, it does have alcohol, a high amount of alcohol in it. If your skin is extremely sensitive, you are not going to like this one. This one is for 249 rupees. Now, the scrub particles are a bit big in this scrub. Usually, I don't like scrubs which has insanely big amount of scrub particles in it. But being said that when I used this, it was a bit calming to my skin. It wasn't extremely rough and raw and it did not tear my skin out. Although, if you don't like the bigger particle kind of scrubs in your skincare routine, I would not recommend you to do it. But for me, I think I can use it like once a month. I won't be using it like every single week. It also does have a walnut in it. So, you know, that is a bit off because you don't really should use extremely, you know, you should not scrub your face extremely vigorously. And, um, if you do that, please stop doing that. But yeah, it is a good one. Overall, it is not extremely harsh on my skin. Next up, I want to talk about the lavender and chamomile face wash. Now, this is how it is. This is literally the texture of it. It is very, very clear. This is for 139 rupees. Now, it is cruelty free. It is mineral oil free and it is paraben free as well. Now, the amount of alcohol in this is very, very less. I definitely like the face wash way more than the scrub. It was very mild. I have a dry skin. Okay. So, I don't like face washes which usually like strip off the oils from my face and just makes it so freaking dry and with this i was surprised that you know that did not happen so this did not strip excess oils from my skin which was a great thing and you know after you use a face wash if you just wipe your face you will feel like your skin is dry and you, you should not feel that and if you feel that after using a face wash that face wash is not for you and luckily the face wash did not do that for me so i would highly recommend this one this is only for 139 rupees which is Great, great, great. I am definitely going to use this on a weekly or a daily basis as well. Now, first of all, let's talk about the hydrating gels. After using these, I use the hydrating gels. Now, they said that you can use this as a moisturizer as well. Now, if you have sensitive skin, let me just warn you. Like, Let me just tell you the biggest con of these products, okay? It is good. It has all these clarifying uh, and purifying abilities but these are highly 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 fragrance and i do not like that about them let me just tell it to you straight away okay uh when i opened this it was like a whiff of lavender and a whiff of neem tea tree and neem which was like oh my god like i do prefer like i don't mind fragrance in my skincare but i don't even you know i don't want like you know the skincare the fragrance in the skincare is like f about 50 percent um, but yeah, it does have a extreme amount of fragrance. Like now even when I smell it, I just smell a whiff of the lavender and chamomile, which was a bit turn off for me, honestly. Um, that being said, I did use it on my face, even with the tea tree and neem. This has like a milder one, but I feel like with the lavender, it's just a bit of, you know, on your face. Uh, but yes, when you apply it, also it looks like purple in color, like, you know, it is purple and if you apply it on your face it doesn't look like purple purple but yeah as you can see it's purple and the tea tree and neem one is also green so let me just show that to you 
look at it it's cute so when i applied it it was really really good like honestly i'm gonna tell you i've applied it right now uh i haven't applied any moisturizer i've just used this this is a hydrating gel and they said that you can use it as a moisturizer so i was trying that out uh my skin definitely feels very good like very hydrated usually this is winters and i have to reapply my moisturizer after every three hours because my skin is extremely dry it's been over three hours and i feel like you know i don't really need a layer of another moisturizer on my face and the blending process is also really good i will insert some videos over here okay it is not sticky it is not like very uh, like you don't like the gel doesn't go all over the place is what i'm trying to say here again it is lightweight and it blends in really really well so the gel does not create a hassle a lot of hassle you know when you're applying that and i also feel like a little goes a very very long way if you have sensitive skin i don't think you are going to like this one i would recommend you to go and smell the product in the store if you can and then purchase it because some people don't like you know the fragrance in these however um, if you don't like the fragrance and if you just want it for the masking purposes i would recommend you to do that you know if you don't want to have fragrance in your moisturizers what you can do is just apply this as a gel mask like a gel mask i have various types of gel mask you know apply that keep it for some time wash it off and then apply uh, your moisturizer serum all of that this is something which you can do as well with this so you know it's not compulsory that you know it's a moisturizer you should use it as a moisturizer but yeah it works it will work in both the ways overall talking about it will i be using these again in the future definitely yes i will be using this not really as a moisturizer maybe like as a mask like a very hydrating mask as now in winters my skin is getting really dry so you know maybe i'm doing a face mask a clay mask after that that i can apply this i can like rub it off or like once it is you know uh, soaked into my skin really well i can top it up with serum or moisturizer or anything like that so yeah i will be using these in the future honestly i think these are great products the only factor which i did not like was the fragrance if they would have just kept a milder fragrance then i feel like you know it would have been an amazing amazing thing i would rate it like a 8 out of 10 uh, two points cut for the fragrance so that was it you guys that was the video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and watch more of my videos which i post over here and i will see you in the next one bye